Gotta get that. Gotta get that. 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 Boom. 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 Gotta get that. Boom. 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 Gotta get that. Boom. 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 Today's lesson talks about recursive formulas for sequences. Recursive formulas are different than explicit formulas. They they work differently. <clears throat> And sometimes they're the only way to describe a sequence. In a recursive formula, you're going to actually grow the sequence from a starting point, and that starting point is going to be your first term. Let's take a look at an example here. Okay, consider this sequence. It starts at 40, and then it goes to 20, and then it goes to 10, and then it goes to 5, and then it goes to two and a half. And it would just continue like this. Now, I think most of you can see that as the sequence continues, we're just taking half of the preceding number. So we started at 40, then we went to 20, and 10, and 5, etc. So, but if I ask you, okay, what's the 30th term in this? That we don't have an explicit formula to tell us you know, how to get to the 30th term. We'd have to actually write them all out to get there. So we're going to describe this recursively. All right. Now, recursive formulas always have two parts. And those two parts are generally written in a brace. Uh, the first thing you want to do is state what the first term is. So the f of 1 in this case is 40. And the f of the nth term is going to be equal to the f of n minus 1. f of n minus 1, you take that value, the preceding term, to f of n, and you just cut it in half. So here we have a description that will generate this sequence, but it has to start at 40 and work its way. We want to put a small condition on the n as well here. Um, we know what the first term is. It's 40, and that's listed right here. So this is going to be for all remaining terms where n um, are integers greater than or equal to 2. So we're going to write 4 n integers greater than or equal to 2. Here's a recursive formula. Let's go ahead and see if we can generate the first four terms. Okay, recursive as we said, formulas always have two parts. The first part is where you state the first term. So I'm going to use subscript notation here. t sub 1 is 1. And t sub n is then going to be equal to t sub n minus 1 squared plus 3. So to generate every term, you take the preceding term, you square it and you add 3. And of course this will be for integers where the number of term is greater than or equal to 2. So we want to write the first four terms. The first term we have already been given to us, its value is 1. Now we want to find term 2, term 3, and term 4. Okay, so to find term 2 we have to use term 1. All right, t sub n minus 1 would have been uh, the first term. Its value was 1. We're going to square 1, and we will get 1, and then we will add 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, let's move to the third term, t sub 3. Okay, we'll need t sub 3 minus 1, which is 2. So the second term's value was 4. We'll square the 4, we'll get 16, 16 plus 3 is 19. Okay, now the fourth term. Let's see here. To get the fourth term, we have to use the value of the third term, which was 19. So we take 19 and we square it, and that gives us 361, and then 361 plus 3 is 364. Alright, here's another um, sequence. 
it's being written out a little bit differently. Uh, we're actually showing you the numbers that are being added together to generate the terms. T sub 1 starts at 25, T sub 2 we add 50 to the 25, T sub 3 we're going ahead and adding another 50, and then in T sub 4 we're adding another 50. What's happening is we've got a starting value of 25, and then each term we just simply add 50 to the answer that came before. So, the way we would describe this recursively is, first of all, state t sub 1. That is our starting point, and we start at now, 25. t sub n, any term in this sequence, can be achieved by taking the preceding term and just adding 50. So the preceding term would be written as t sub n minus 1, and then we add 50. So it's just that simple. We can describe this in this manner. Gotta get dead. Gotta get dead, 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 dead. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get dead. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get dead.